Hey everybody. Here at a local city park today. This is Mr. B, the homeschool sci guy. You might know me from Noeo Science or the Homeschool Institute of Science. Here, giving you the word of the week. The word of the week is Zugenruhe. Zugenruhe. It's a German word and it means, any guesses? Migratory restlessness. Anyone restless out there this time of year? Probably for other reasons too, maybe not just the instinct to migrate, um, but it could also be that. We're here at a local city park to look at some flocking birds. This behavior uh, really common this time of year. Uh, fall migrations upon us in a, a lot of this uh, temperate zone of the, of the uh, continental uh, North America here. And we're seeing a lot of birds start flocking up like these cedar waxwings, which we're not going to get any really close-up looks at the cedar waxwings, but you're going to just see them flocking, flying between these two trees, back and forth. A lot of young birds. This behavior is really important for those first-year migrants. Uh, the young birds key in um, with those adults, learn the migration route. They flock together to their to their winter um, to their wintering grounds. And so they're flocking and they're fueling. They're eating every available resource they can find right now. And that's going to be important because they're going to need that for these massive migrations, which uh, sometimes hundreds, uh, maybe even thousands of miles in one single flight. Then they'll stop, they'll fuel up, maybe rest for a day or two depending on the weather, and then they'll continue their migration. Usually south since we're here in the northern, in the northern hemisphere. So Zugenrua, word of the day, look for flocking birds, look for flocking blackbirds anywhere, in parking lots, um, flocking starlings, these are cedar waxwings. Uh, we saw a lot of, of sparrows in large groups earlier today as well. It's typically songbirds that exhibit this type of behavior, but you also see migrating shorebirds um, and waterfowl uh, this time of year. So fall migration, a great time of year to get out and observe uh, God's handiwork, this amazing spectacle of nature, um, we see here an annual event for these birds to breed in, the, in, the, uh, in their summer grounds, fuel up, head south for the winter, enjoy a reprieve hopefully, and then we wait and look for them in the coming spring. And so not quite time to get your bird feeders set up for the winter, but start thinking about it. Look for a good spot, maybe buy a couple feeders if you don't have any, make some. Um, and I'll be talking more about bird feeding um, here once we get further along into the fall. Thanks, guys.